Hi there, and welcome to Open Solar. Today, I'll be showing you a feature that we're really excited about, and that is custom fields. We know how important it is to have flexible software that suits your business, and that's why we've developed this new functionality. To create custom fields, you'll need to be an admin of your account, hop into this control area, then go to Company, Business Processes, and Custom Fields. Now in here, you can click on Create New Record, Choose the field location, and you'll notice there's project, contact, and cogs builder. So we'll take project first. Choose the fields here. You have five choices, so you can create five different fields within the project area. And then you can choose the field type. So the first one just being text, so free text option, a drop down selection, and then a date or time selection. So we'll go with text, and then we can put in our label here. For example, this field could be an export limit field. So we can hit save there. Great, now that's saved, we'll go and create another field. Go add custom field, and this one will do a contact field. And so in here, once again, you get two choices in this uh, contact area. So you can click on contact custom field one, choose the label. We can just say this one could be age and we'll do a drop down as an example here so the first drop down selection will be 0 to 18. the second one will go 19 to 30. next one we can go 31 upwards and then we'll hit save great so we've now created our custom field for the contact and that's going to be their age bracket now i'll create our last one here a cogs build up once again, choosing from five options here you have for the costs. We'll choose custom field one. This one, let's do travel cost. And you'll notice for the cogs build up, you don't have a field type choice. You can only put in a label and the field. And that's because this will allow you to attribute the cost based on a system, panel, or per what basis, just like you would normally enter the costs in this cost information section of the app here. Great, so now once you've set up those few custom fields, you can then refresh your browser, generally to let them load in. You might just have to wait a moment as well. And then once you've done that, you can then hop into the area of the app where those fields will appear. So the first example we had was project. So now in this project info area of the app, you'll see on the top right here, these are the custom fields for that project. So I just did one example out of five that you can create, and I put in the export limit. So we can say export limit of zero in this case, and then I also create another custom field for my contact. And so if you just click on show more fields, you'll see then down here, this is the custom one I entered in, which is the age bracket. So I can put in the age for our customer as well. And then just the same, but for those cost custom fields, you can hop into pricing and payments, cost information, open up your cost list, click on the COGS breakdown here, and you'll notice your custom field will appear um, as a new line item here. So this gives you a lot of flexibility about entering all of the costs for your business here in OpenSolar. And the great benefit of these custom fields is that you can easily use them as placeholders for your documents. So for example, you can embed the placeholder for these custom fields within your proposal template. So this can come in really handy when entering information for projects. You can click on the proposal content area. You might want to use one of these content blocks here, for example, like this. You can click on this placeholder area. If you just type in custom there, you'll see the contact custom fields and the project custom fields as well there that you can easily add in. So really easy to put information in from a project and more so you can actually enter these uh, fields as placeholders within the document templates as well. So that'll be part of a separate video, but you might want to enter fields um, into your installation instructions for the distance um, from the inverter to the array, for example, or the export limit in those instructions as well. So you can do all of that right here within these document templates. When you create a new document, you can then add in those same placeholders right here as well to customize it further. Thanks for checking out this video and we hope you like the new feature. Have a great day.